Good morning, everyone, to a special New Year's Eve edition of Winging It here on Barino's World. My inspiration this month comes from something simply known as the Scotch egg. All that is, is just a hard boiled egg wrapped in sausage, coated with the breading on it, and then cooked until it's something nice and awesome. So I figure I'm going to try and do the same thing with chicken wings instead of eggs. So I will attempt to make, I don't know if it's called a Scotch wing or not, but it's to be wrapped in sausage, breaded, and cooked. I'm apprehensive about this one, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my setup right here. I've got the wings, I've got the sausage, I've got my breading areas, and I've got my pan. <clears throat> now, I already got a head start on wrapping one of these wings because I was an idiot and forgot to turn the camera on, but I think it's going to be fine. I don't know how many wings I'm going to be able to make since I only got half a pound of sausage, but I got one done. I think I might be able to make two more wings, so we'll see what we can do. Now, after a lot of hard work and a lot of mess, all I was able to come up with is these three wings. But I think this will be more than enough to give it a fair evaluation. So now let's cook. Now, I am departing from tradition in that given I've got two layers of meat, uncooked meat, in these wings, I'm going to cook these in a different fashion in a 400 degree regular oven instead of a convection oven like I usually do. Just so I can let these wings cook a little bit more gentler and monitor the temperature appropriately. So, in we go. Rushy heat, my lunch is on the bottom. Here we go, in down. Now, we wait. Okay, I think the wings are done, so let's pull them out. Ah, uh, ay, 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 ay. Ooh, look at that. Those look... Those look kind of interesting. Looks like some of the breading didn't stick completely, but then again, that may just been because... I don't know if I didn't use enough egg or just too much breading overall. But they look interesting. Take a look at these two wings side by side. The wing on the left is unmodified, just cooked as is. The one on the right is coated in sausage and breading. Let that sink in for a little bit. That's a lot of sausage. I would have thought it was shrunk a little bit, being cooked that much. But no. Okay, the scotch wings are done a little bit faster than I thought, but then again, I did set the oven to 400 degrees instead of my usual 375. And it took me about maybe 30, 35 minutes. My so-called scotch wings. These feel... I wasn't I'm not sure what to think of these. These look like potatoes thing, like mini potatoes almost, but they're totally breaded. So here we go. This I think is a flap. Yep, because it's more uniform shape, but anyway, here we are. Let's eat. Scotch wing. Let's go. Mmm. This tastes like a lot, a lot of meat. Let's feel kind of greasy. Definitely more sausage than chicken. Hard to tell where I'm tasting that chicken, but then again, chicken by itself pales in comparison to sausage. I think if I do this again, I'm going to do something to the chicken to up the flavor of it a little bit, maybe put it in the marinade of some kind, or something where the chicken flavor can stand out separately from the sausage. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's really, really good. I just want something where the chicken can stand out on its own in addition to the sausage. Right now it just tastes like I'm eating just a giant hunk of sausage. The chicken's kind of like white noise in the background. All in all, I'd say it's okay. 
It's definitely, it's definitely good. I mean, if you don't like sausage, you're strange. At the same time, if you're going to pair chicken and sausage like that, you're also a little bit strange too. But I think it's okay. Well, overall, the Scotch Wing, I think it's a idea that's got potential. I'm wondering though, maybe uh, I'm getting crazy ideas, but you know what? I think I'll save those for another episode, if possible. But all in all, it's okay. It's really, really good. But I want something that kind of separates the sausage from the chicken. Something where you can easily identify what you're eating. Right now, it just tastes like a huge hunk of meat, which isn't bad by itself, but if you've got discerning tastes, maybe you might want something a little bit different than that. Well, that will do it for another episode of Winging It here on Brian's World. I want to thank you all very much for watching. If you got ideas for stupid wing concoctions I can make on this show, please leave a comment down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. And please do subscribe because if and when I get to 100 subs, I will attempt the Carolina Reaper Chicken Wing Challenge. And that will make these seem like a cakewalk, like easy dessert. Just, oh God. These things will taste good after those, but goodness me. I'm still not looking forward to the wing challenge, but you got to make it happen. I need you to make it happen. But until then, thanks for watching and have yourself a good one.